Lotto, Doja Cat, Meg Thee Stallion, walk into the studio, all perform on the same oh, exact song. Shit, guess what I'm Whoa. doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Say? Nah, keep going. No, <laughs> Wait, I, you I want him a question? No, 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 no. That was rhetorical. Okay. Go, keep going. Doja Cat, Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, walk Ooh, into the studio God. to do to complete a song. You keep interrupting. My fault. One more time. <laughs> Doja Cat, Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, I can't even say her name no more, walk into the studio to perform a song together. Who walks out with the best verse? Now, I'm pulling this because I saw some discourse on the Joe Budden podcast about uh, the folks over there having, you know, picking sides. Some people believe that Lotto is a stronger lyricist. Some people believe that Doja Cat is a stronger lyricist. I wanted to insert Meg Thee Stallion in that. Because I feel like that trio, those three are basically running uh, mm -hmm. women rap right now. And they can really, really, really rap. Right? They can really rap mm -hmm. and they really sell. <clears throat> right? For sure. So for the most part, they cover all bases. I wanted to ask you guys, mm -hmm. who would you pick having the best verse after that session? Best verse. Best verse. Mm. Best verse. Think hard. Think about booty okay. shaking. Think of, like, it's shit to think about. <laughs> See, it's hard for me to think. Uh, I never listen to a verse. From I right, get out. No, for no, <laughs> legit, legit. I've heard their verses. You told. I've me. never listened to their well, verses. We spoke about. You never listened to music by Megan Doja or. Y'all not Washington. hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. Oh, you like, looked at. Oh, you looked no, at them. I've heard them. I, like I know their music. I cannot recite a single verse, and that's fine. I'm you not saying what? there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's a fact. I you know what? You know what? That. That, no, no, that's no. fine because it's like. I, you know, I'm not really like, oh my God, you're not tapped in. Because it is like yeah. baddie music. Like, I don't need Savon yeah, to you. fucking, you know, analyze this shit. So, based on if they were to walk, I'm going to answer your first question. Fuck the verse. All right, but. You well, said no. if they walked into the studio. Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> between Lotto, Doja Cat, Meg Thee Stallion. What you going to do? You going to get hookah, right? <laughs> first thing. <laughs> what else is there to do? No, legit. Think about it. I hate when Savon gets his like host voice. He's like, oh, "Do you guys? Would you guys want a drink? You know, like, because he's very like hosty. Like, like, women are. What else is there? Like, hey, 1942. 1942. Well, I could go you? to the store. You know, to, you could send yo, someone to the store. Oh, yo, why are you doing? Yo, you That's know bad, me for real. Dude. But now, if they really walked into the studio, who's gonna have the best verse? Yeah, Doja Cat. I was gonna say so as well because on like a technical rap level, yeah. I feel like Doja Cat does things that. <clears throat> No, no women in rap do, but I would say my favorite right now because of recency bias is Lotto because I'm obsessed with her album. And I'm going to say all three of them are phenomenal rappers, but I just have to pick like based on the question of verse, verse, yeah, yeah. Doja Cat. Okay. They all can really, really rap for real. Okay. How would you know? Because I've heard them, <laughs> I just didn't listen to them. <laughs> with I was, a bottle in the sand. <laughs> I feel I've like you heard them, I, think I you haven't li listened to them. I think you listen to their music by watching their music videos. Am I on to something? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's how you listen, right? Sometimes you gotta videos. analyze. The one the thing visuals. that's, the problem with that is the ears is different than the eyes, nigga. Okay. Um, before Lotto's album, which released this week, uh, Sugar Honey Ice Tea, or last week at least, I would have rocked with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I would have firmly had Doja Cat at number one. Real talk. And for the most part, I've just seen more boom bap styles from Doja Cat, right? Like, or just the opportunity and ability to go in different realms with rap and her pen. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would have put her at one. After this new Lotto album uh, titled Sugar Honey Iced Tea, I don't even know how to answer this question. I asked you, I'm up for I, I really got them neck and neck because the amount of growth I heard on this project, the amount of, she was able to blend introspection with trap, mm -hmm. with, her, with her, her, her nigga. Like just the blend of it made me realize that she could compete with a Doja Cat. Now mm -hmm. granted, yeah. Doja Cat is probably 1A in terms of lyricism. Booty shaking, that's another conversation. See, I don't know but. their lyrics. I know their ability. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm being honest. Sure? And, and I'm not even trying to like, I'm yeah. not even trying to do the whole sexist thing. I don't no, listen no, to no. their lyrics. I, I, I listen to their ability to put words together, to put a verse together, to make a song, to create a song. I don't listen for what they're doing in their verse. But when I hear like, if we talk about performance, right? Mm -hmm. Performance on a song, mm -hmm. um, ball for breath ball. control, ball for bar, mm -hmm. those kind of things, finding a pocket, and if, like those things, the cadence, that's what I hear. I don't know exactly what they're saying on a song. So I can't judge the lyrics. I can only judge the performance. In the performance, they're mm -hmm. all at the top of their class when it comes to like mm -hmm. women hip hop artists. For and sure. even males, like mm -hmm. they'll they'll outspit, especially Doja Cat, like 
from that perspective is what I'm judging this question on. Literally, if I'm being Doja honest. Cat yeah. headline Coachella did fen a phenomenal show. Megan is an arena artist. Lotto has been doing this since she was little. Like they're all I I can't pick actually. I don't know what. The more I think about it, I'm like, yo, they each like bring something so special. We ain't say nothing about Meg Thee Stallion. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, nah, listen. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I was gonna, I was gonna say <laughs> I love her, but I, like I'm just my, to my answer yeah. is Doja. Yeah. Yeah. I would say if I would have one through three, it Doja. Yeah, Meg would go last for me. Meg would go last. And that's a hard last. That's a hard last. Yeah, yeah. Because that's a big Megan, three. she can, like, I'm thinking about the, um, what's the song? There's some hoes in, in this house. house. There's some hoes in this house. What's the song what? she was spinning? No, what? she was spinning on that. I like, I like morning checks. <laughs> All the like, gobble me, follow me, da 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 me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, gobble me, follow me, give up, follow me. Like, she was giving it up. Like, oh, she like, suck me, swallow me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that ball. Say that ball. Hmm? She was suck me, swallow me. <laughs> that shit, like, I know she was really giving it up. So I'm just going based off what I heard. That's it. <laughs> but they all, I think they're all great. And I, yeah. I think they're pushing the genre forward. Yeah. I heard the Lotto mm -hmm. album was fire uh, from a lot of yeah. people, not just y'all. But I heard a lot of people saying, like, the Lotto album was mm -hmm. tough. And I think she's a complete artist. Like you said, we yes. got to see it kind of grow up. Mm -hmm. um, what what show was it? The J Jermaine Dupri show that she was uh, on? What was that? Rap Life? Not Rap Life. It was some show that she was yeah, a contestant yeah. rap on. Rap competition. Rap competition. Yeah, it, was, um, it was a rap competition. It was, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, but she's a complete artist and you can tell she cares about the craft. Yeah, she's always wanted to do this. You can yeah. tell all three of the women that you mentioned, they all care about the craft. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Like you got other people, like a young Miami, who you know, they just wanted to get lit. And they got lit by doing some shit, but they didn't really care. she didn't really give a fuck about the craft. She just wanted to be lit. So I think, you know, that's a great question. But um when it comes to the lyrics, I don't really know. But when it comes to talent on the mic and performance on mic. Uh, yeah, I think they're all phenomenal. I do think if you sat with, for example, like Lotto's new album and like listen to her it, rap, I do think you're going to be very you. impressed. Like, I implore yeah. you, just give it a listen. Even if yeah. it's one time. It took, it take me back a little bit. That's hard for me. What do you mean, nigga? Just press play. It's I'm good not, music. I'm not just a music play. guy and I don't want to hear Stop but you saying can, that. But you this can, is like, why listen. That's the truth. To, no, that's, not, that, that's the truth. You enjoy music. So... To not be a music guy would mean that you do not enjoy That's music. That's not true. That's what I'm saying. But when Every people single. hold on, but when people hear you say the things you say, they automatically assume, oh, Savon knows zero about music. <laughs> That's, That's not true. Savon was a drummer. That's true. Savon yeah. was grew up around music. That's a fact. Stepfather and all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't say that. That you, is true. You can do it. Like, you can put on yes. Lotto's album and enjoy it. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying I want to enjoy it. I'm just not going to go out of my way. Like, my life, and a lot of people that listen to this podcast, and shout out to y'all for listening to Salute. the podcast each and every week, especially the silent listeners. Silent listeners. Y'all have not yeah. been so silent lately. What up? Thank you. We appreciate you. I see you in the Twitter community. I see you in the YouTube comments. Yeah. With that being said, <laughs> there's a lot of things pulling at my attention from... Max, mm -hmm. HBO, mm -hmm. work, YouTube, podcast. There's a ton of things pulling at my attention, right? Mm -hmm. Music is not at the top of my priority list when I need to be fulfilled with content. What about So that's what I mean by I'm not a music, music guy. guy. Okay. Music is not my first avenue of entertainment or to bypass, even if I'm on a commute. Most people listen to music while they're traveling, while they're commuting. I prefer to consume some type of sports show or a hip hop form. Whatever the case may be, is not music is not at the top. So for me, a lotto album for it to cut through to me is gonna take a lot for me to get there. So that's what I mean by I'm not a music guy per se. You, Reggie, when big releases happen. Whether you enjoy it or not, it is at the top of your list, whether it be because of your job or your personal interest, yeah. Yeah. for you to listen to it. Yeah. That's what I mean by I'm not a music guy. I'm glad you cleared it. I just want people to know that. No, I did Me that and for Reggie you. know. For sure. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, she put her she put her whole pussy in this album. No, I'm not going to front I'm click riding today. <laughs> no, I'm eating click today. What the shit? <laughs> Eat click in honor of Lotto's album. Yo, thank, you. thank you. I'm click riding today. Reggie, get your shit off so I can get my shit off. How did you feel about Lotto's album, Reggie? Literally, from the marketing, from everything, the whole package, like what Savon said, she's like a whole package she's beautiful has a fire personality she can make her little tiktoks like the fucking you know labels always pressure artists to like make funny things oh she could just do it naturally she's fly she's young she's beautiful blonde hair like she okay so with this album i love the theme it's a georgia theme she's from clayco 
And like, oh, like just. Clayton County, right? Like in the beginning, she went very like trap, like very rappy, mm -hmm. very Atlanta, Georgia influence. But then as it like flows down, she got sexy. She got like girly. Mm -hmm. She just did everything on this album. My favorite um, song is Copper Cove with, is it Huncho? Well, Huncho, Huncho yep. that's my yeah. favorite song. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Really, so Huncho is really buzzing out of Atlanta right Ladies, now. Ladies, use that song and put it on your story. When you put a little selfie, you know, it works in it. But then, <laughs> <laughs> she right? Listen to Red Tips. Uh, I don't know, yeah. but yeah, I just I don't know. I loved it, and <clears> honestly, <throat> I don't want people to think that whenever I talk about music releases, because I'm I'm not that harsh. Like when I when we talk about music, I'm very like forgiving, mm -hmm. and I usually do say I like a project. But for example, like I don't mean to just bring her up for beef sake, but like last week I said I didn't really like Ice Spice's album. I wasn't really impressed, but this one, Lotto's album, like she got it. In I terms of like, she walked. In. If you compare the releases, <laughs> that beef they, is over. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. they can they. I think it's good to compare them because they came out like two weeks apart from each other. Lotto Lotto won this 